Hello beer tubers and welcome to yet another versus beers. Ooh, done one of these. <laughs> uh, instead of a blind tasting, uh, it's a versus beers because I know what beers it is and uh, it would kind of be easy to p pick out what is what and whatnot. But guys, this is the battle of Europe against America when it comes to juice bombs. Uh, <laughs> I thought this had to be done because I've already reviewed both of these beers uh, that are highly, highly, highly acclaimed hoppy beers from uh, one from Sweden and one from the US. You saw it in the title. I guess it's a bit of a clickbait title, but it would be fun to try and do. And also just to see, is, is it similar? I mean, I've actually never had one of the European attempt at the New England styles next to an American attempt that is dead on. So today, guys, we're battling Treehouse Green, their 7.5% IPA hopped with Galaxy Hops against Steve Baggins GBG Beer Week 2016, 6.5% IPA featuring Nelson Hops. So maybe this is a bit of an unfair battle. It is, because this is two months old. This is like five days old, almost. Like, this is the freshest batch, just released at Sustainable Polagot yesterday. Uh, I was lucky enough, you got to thank, by the way, two people for this. Joe, Jaws Arcade for the can of green. Your Ruma man, awesome to be getting to try green again. And also Johan, who sent out this bottle specifically for uh, this video. And also one for you, Joe, to send along in your package so you can try European hop juice that I think is the best made in Europe. So when I reviewed these beers, I gave both beers a hundreds. I said green was one of the best, if not the best single IPA I've had. Steve Baggins GBT Beer Week, I said was the best European IPA I've had. So this is a tough battle. I mean, hundreds of beers, but again, a little bit unfair, but that's how we like, I could never get both beers as fresh. Then I'd have to travel, like time it some weird way, like travel to the States to visit Treehouse to bring back a can of green fresh and time that somehow with the release of this beer. That's, I mean, it's impossible to do that. But I thought, thought it'd make for a fun video still. So, should be interesting to try these beers against each other. I thought about doing it blind as well, as I said, but I think I'd be, it'd be a bit easy to pick them out. Uh, and maybe I should have had a third beer if I was doing it blind, so, uh, oh well, it's, it's a versus beer, isn't it? So, I think we should start off with the, with green, because, uh, Steve Baggins GBG Beer Week is in recent memory, it's not too long since I had it, but it's been over a year, about a year since I had green last, and green pours amazingly hazy orange, like deep hazy orange color, nice white head, it just smells like hop juice in this kitchen right now, <laughs> but it looks great in the glass. Poured a whole lot thicker than a GBGB Reek. Much like thicker and almost like sludgier, but looks really great in the glass. Whereas the GBG Beer Week 2016 by Steve Baggett's is a whole lot paler. Like that is super yellow. Like it almost looks like, like lemony, but it's also got some haze. But you can like see on the consistency that like uh, GBG Beer Week is a little bit thinner than... Um, than uh, green, but I think we should check out the aroma and taste on green first and then get on to GBG Beer Week afterwards. So yeah, let's check out the aroma on Treehouse Green. Oh, that melon character. Oh, it's so sweet melon. I've never had a beer other than green where Galaxy has given off that much of a, a melon character. Like when I had uh, the Ama uh, Granny with a Gun, it's not really. I was it was not as melon forward. It was it was not way near as melon forward as this. Like sweet melon and bubble gum. That bubble juicy fruit bubble gum. That's so unique. Yeah, really. I'm really getting a lot of that. Even though it's two months old, it's still tastes smelling really awesome. Oh man, so tropical too. So like peachy, pineapple, mangoes. It smells really nice, but really the stone fruit, or stone fruit, yeah, stone fruit, but also um, that bubblegum and bubblegum and melon character really stands out. Smells really fucking killer. I can't wait to try green again. Thanks a million to Joe. Cheers, Joe. Thanks for the beer.
<laughs> oh wow. <laughs> that is so good, even though it's still old. That is, or old, not old, two months isn't too bad, guys. It's drinking fucking awesome. Like, one of the things with the Treehouse beers is just, like, that mouthfeel is yet to be recreated. Trilliums are, beers are really juicy, but they lack that very silky, chewy, medium mouthfeel. Mm-mm-mm-mm. So good. Tons of melon. Honeydew melon, cantaloupe melon, peachy stone fruit notes. Wow, that melon character is awesome on there. Um, again, that ju ju uh, uh, Wrigley's Juicy Fruit Bubblegum, that's in there too. Some stone fruit, passion fruit, pineapple, the tart tropical fruit. So soft on the fucking bitterness. Like, it's insane. There's like next to no bitterness whatsoever. They really perfected like the New England style IPA with green. I am team green, green all the way. I've had Julius now a couple of times. I much prefer green uh, to Julius. Uh, man, I need to try very green sometime, but this is a fantastic IPA, and this is like a year on IPA too, which is freaking insane. Are you around? It's not a special release. They brew it whenever they have capacity for it, but yeah. I gave it a Hunnis last time. Is it still a Hunnis? Yeah, probably. This is fucking killer stuff. But now it should be interesting. So the big difference here, it'd be also have been more fair if, if both beers had the same hop verities. So, uh, both beers were... Like Galaxy or, or Nelson or something like that. That'd be a bit more fair. Just getting some water here. Cleanse the old palate. But yeah, that would have been a bit more fair. But again, it's, it's hard to time it when you have to like trade for it to get the American stuff. Hmm. Palate cleansed. Let's jump on to GBG Beer Week. <laughs> you can smell that this is... Dead fucking fresh. Oh, this has got some dankness to it as well. That, um, that green didn't have. Like a bit of dank, almost like a West Coast tendency, which I don't remember from the last batch. But that Nelson fucking popping in there, like super, super like uh, gooseberry and white grape forward and tart tropical fruit. Like this does not have the bubblegum character really that... Uh, green does like green has that uh, yeasty bubblegum character. This doesn't really. This is more like really uh, like white grapey and citrusy, or not citrusy, white grapey and gooseberry forward. So got some citrusy notes. It's got a little bit of candied citrus peel thing too. This batch here, and then very tropical. It's the same kind of top, tropical vibe you get from both tart tropical fruits like pineapple, passion fruit, uh, but. Yeah, this has got a definitely, definitely got like a weed-like dankness to it, <laughs> but it's also super fresh. It smells freaking killer too, so let's give GBG super fresh a taste. Cheers guys, and thanks a ton to Johan for this one. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. Okay, big difference. Mouthfeel. That's a huge difference. I mean, this is still got... A Awesomely silky and chewy mouthfeel, but not as rich and soft and pillowy as, as green. Mm. But this fucking stands up to it. It does. And that is fucking awesome. There's a lot of uh, European beer geeks, of course, want to try the US hype stuff. And it's fucking amazing. But it's really, like, it's happening in Europe now. The New England style is a thing. Everyone's wanting to do it. And some breweries are really doing it well here, too. Like Steve Baggins. So, this is fucking killer. That gooseberry flavor is there. The tartar tropical fruits and all that. This is just awesome, awesome IPA. But definitely not the same hop character. And I think I could easily also, if, I, if they were blind, you would easily see that this is Nelson because of that intense uh, white grape and gooseberry flavor, whereas the other one is that... Uh, melon character and whatnot, but mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. <laughs> should we do it? Should we find a class and do GBG Green Week? <laughs> Shit, I'll find a bonus class and then we'll do a cuvee. <laughs> okay, so here we have it the <laughs> GBG Green Week by Treehouse and Steve Baggins. This cuvee had to be done. <laughs>
Let's check out the aroma on it. <laughs> it smells really nice. The Nelson really pops a bit more on the aroma, but it's also fresher. But man, it smells awesome. So tropical and so juicy, sweet citrus and like the, there's you get a bit of the bubble gum. The dankness is more subdued from GBG. Damn, let's try this Kuwe GBG Green Week. <laughs> <laughs> that is a fucking killer combo. Yeah, um, if you're anywhere in the world and you happen to have a, bottle, a can of green and a bottle of Steve Baggins on the same time, uh, Kube is appropriate. This is fucking awesome. <laughs> Molecule is even more on point. You get that awesome uh, bubblegummy... Juicy fruit bubblegum flavor from the, the, the from green for sure, and then like the it's almost like as if the tropical tar, tropical fruit flavors that are in green are even more amplified by the addition of the GBG Beer Week. <laughs> and this is a hunted blend. This is fucking great. It's almost as if it also cuts some of the green cuts the dankness from GBG and it gets more soft. <laughs> yeah, that's fucking killer. So who won? Who won? Oh, that's hard to say. I actually would say they're on par with each, with each other. I, it, it's hard to say who won. It depends on what mood you're in, in for. It's two different hop characters. You're getting both beers. But I'd still say both go for some of the best IPAs on the market in Europe and America, or the United States respectively. But uh, I think I might give it to Green still, actually. Uh, just because it still has that insane mouthfeel and that awesome, like, juicy fruit bubblegum character and whatnot. Even though it's a bit older, but the, like, it's a, it's a bit more, it's softer, it's not as popping, but it's more complex. And I've also had green at two weeks old, so I know how intense and flavorful it is fresh. So I might put that just a notch over GBG, but GBG is still a fucking killer. It's still a hunted spear. Um, it's just a little bit thinner. As, uh, at least this batch, it's got a little bit of, of a dankness to it. Uh, but yeah, this doesn't need, like these gradients doesn't even matter in a video like this. This is just for fun. This is just awesomeness because both are fucking hunted spears and like the best of both fucking Europe and <laughs> the United States are some of the best when it comes to the IPA game. So hope you guys enjoyed this little fun uh, video here. This little versus spear of... Uh, Steve Baggins GBG Beer Week and Green and the Cuvée <laughs> GBG Green Week. <laughs> that was awesome. That is a great, great Cuvée. Uh, so yeah, guys, if you've had a chance to have either of these beers, definitely let me know what you think. And what is your thought on this whole IPA thing right now, the New England beer styles? That, like, they're hitting Europe. They are a few, so many people do them in the States now, too. Be cool to hear what you think. I, I enjoy them, but I can see, especially for some people, that they're getting a bit too stout uh, because so many people do them now. But I have a feeling it might go the way of the West Coast IPA and all of a sudden everyone's going to be doing New England. Kind of like everyone ended up doing West Coast. But who knows? I mean, it's, there's always new, cool, innovative breweries who figure out doing something else and something different. But right now, it's a fucking awesome beer style or a type of IPA. And yeah, I suggest you check out some. Especially these two, because both of these are amazing hunted spears. So, as always, guys, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I'm going to say cheers in GBG Green Week. <laughs> cheers, guys. And a big thanks also, of course, to Joe and Johan. And see you guys in another beer review.